thought I'd give you guys a um, little tour of our parlor. We'll start on this side. This is just a little bedside table that we use for storing the orange container we keep raisins in for the girls and then here's a little clock we used when we first started DHIA to look in my drawers and stuff this is just a junk drawer I never know when you might need something in there it's handy to have it out here the cup and saucer are my uh, strip cups paper towels you never know when something might happen and then the bucket with lid, that's what we use for our trash can. This is our herd name. We have it registered with ANDA, AGA, and then AGS. Narrow gate. The pictures you'll see around here done on tin, um, those were done by my daughter. She just give, has given me some over the years. Fan, because it gets warm in here. This is our feed, I'll show you our feed. This is uh, classy milk goat feed. And sometimes people call it classy dairy goat feed. But we used to make our own, do all the figuring and stuff like that, and then just started feeding this. And they just done really good on it. It sure makes it easier. The NRW, that's our herd tattoo. can see our um, milking system here attached to the milk stand. We can unstrap that when we need to and then uh, to make it mobile and I'll show you how we um, do that. Back here we keep the pump. And it's just in an old um, baby bathtub used for the kids when they were small. And this, uh, I don't know what you call it, double-sided bucket. Um, this, I usually take my milk hoses up to the house and clean them up there, but if I ever need to haul down some warm soapy water or some hot Clorox water, I can do that and then clean my lines all down here. So, I just use it Things covered and a little bit clean. This here swings out. We use that to um, hold the uh, clusters, or else um, on test days we I hang my um, milk scale on there. So and here's the milk stand. It's just an old chest of drawers that I redid a little bit. I uh, extended out the back, if you can kind of see, and then put the back, it's not really a black backsplash on there, but put that on there with the two head catch, just, and then a shelf to hold their dishes. And we'll take a peek in here. Just some more raisins, extra collars, baby wipes. Let's see this uh, oh, um, biosecurity booties under there. Some spray for the does. Um, post kitting, just to keep their tails a little cleaner and stuff to be able to clean them off. And 
here's our weight scale that we use. Notebook, pencils, more wipes, teat tape, balm. I use the tags there. Um, I can fix those up um, for like our verification day and put the doe's name on there along with her control number. So, down here, we have the bottles, or our jars, along with our milk lines. We have the GEA Top Flow Z inflations on them. I really like those. They do a good job, and they're easy to use. It's an just an old uh, stool. The um, extension cord there on the side of the wall, that's how we have electricity out here. It's uh, not ideal, I suppose, but it works. And then down here I keep our um, Milwaukee pack out. And that's how we make our uh, milking system portable and that's kind of nice to have the stairs for the girls to get up on and then that's our clock for test days you can if it's going to fix the lighting or not but you can see our old um milk scale and here's a light that we have in here it doesn't put out any heat or anything but it is really bright so and then this is just an old uh, dry sink that we use for storage you can see the animal cookies in there for the girls and then I keep some bottles down here you never know when you might need to collect a little bit of milk and that saves me a trip up to the house. And this is just bottles, some funnels, nipples, got some baggies in there to freeze colostrum when I need to. Down here is our vacuum for cleaning up messes. extra or just some buckets to have down here handy. The dipper we used to use for our strip cup and now it's just decoration. So and then we have the little caddy there for the times I need to haul some stuff down to the barn and milk down there I can I can. It's um, just kind of a handy little deal. Here's another picture she did. This one was done for FFA. And then I have this tub in here. I had hoped to be able to fix it up and use it as a sink, but it is just too light and too flimsy to be much good. So they'll little door back there. Um, I want to fix that and make it a sliding door instead, but that allows me to um, let goats in and let them out. You can see I keep my broom and stuff back there this gate here. I can open up my door and just shut, shut it and lock it. And that allows me to have some fresh air in here which is nice. Fresh air and light. I hear somebody coming. Oh, it's passion. <laughs> um, but that's it. That's our milking parlor. Might let her.
her in here. We don't milk her because she's not fresh. But she'll show you how the stand works. Come on, sweetie. Maybe. She's just going to look around in here, I guess. Maybe not. She got up there, but didn't need the stairs. Alright, that's it. Y'all have a good day.